cruising catamarans as voted by you. So for those of you who don't know, over the last 12 months, we have been reviewing almost all of the catamarans on the market. We devised a scoring system with your help, I might add. There were five categories, each had 10 points each, so a total score of 50 points per catamaran. So based on those scores voted by you, today we are counting down the top 10 cruising catamarans. Let's get started. So welcome all to the top 10 catamaran countdown. This is a result of three boat shows, 19 reviews, and one year's work. The Exquisite X5. So this is the Neisner 500 SE. Balance 526. This is the beautiful boat. This is the Antares 44 GS. So just a quick rundown as to how this all works. We developed an app. We asked you to vote on the catamarans we reviewed. Five separate categories, 10 points for each category, 50 points in total. And a massive thank you to the four and a half thousand of you that left your own independent views. This is now the largest collection of Cataran reviews, which have no dealer bias anywhere on the internet. Let's see what came in at 10. In 10th place, the British builder Discovery and the Discovery 50 Catamaran. Now you absolutely love this boat and 32.7 out of 50 gives you 10th place. What did we love about it? Well, the insides and the outside, everything is absolutely fantastic. The build quality, the finish is luxurious and this is of course a semi-custom build. So you get to choose lots of different aspects of this boat. Honestly, a fantastic luxurious cruiser to take you comfortably around the world. Well done Discovery 32.7. One up from the Discovery in ninth place is the Leopard 45 Catamaran. Now the Leopards are a firm favourite of liverboards and charters alike and 32.9 was the score that you awarded it. The positives for the Leopard 45, well the interior you found to be light and airy. The living space was very, very accommodating. It has a forward cockpit that you all said this is a really useful feature to have, especially in the tropics. Forward facing chart table and the sailing characteristics of this boat are remarkably good. We also found the interior fitting to be above average. For a production catamaran, the joinery, the level of fit out is pretty good. There were some questions about that forward facing door and some of our patrons asked those questions when we were lucky enough to interview Leopard Management in a test sale after the Annapolis Boat Show. If you want to see that interview, the link is above. But Leopard were gracious and honest enough to answer those questions and we felt pretty reassured talking to a delivery skipper about the actual realities of ownership of a Leopard Catamaran. So overall we were pretty pleased. This was the second time we had taken a look at Leopard and we were pretty pleased and we'd be confident in a boat like this to cross oceans or to just cruise the Caribbean islands alike. Well done Leopard, this is a thoroughly well deserved score in at 9th place, Leopard 45 32.9. Coming into 8th place is the St. Francis 50 Catamaran. Now we really love this boat and you did too. So overall the score of 33.6 was well deserved. Now what did you love about this boat? Well let's look at the positives first. The helm is pretty amazing. You can see 360, it's well protected. The visibility is absolutely fantastic and something you would really want on passage. The quality of build is apparent throughout the boat from the running gear, the standing rigging and also the interior of the boat. This again is a semi custom build. Everything is over engineered. It is thought out for the sailor. So hand holds galore. The ability to move safely around a boat at sea should not be underestimated. Joinery is bespoke. The fit out is absolutely divine. You can really see this as a beautiful and easy living space to occupy. Well done St. Francis. We absolutely love your boat and the public do too. So St. Francis 50, 33.6 out of 50. In seventh place, we have the first of the chic French designers and this is Privilege, the Privilege 510 Catamaran. You awarded this 33.7. Now I was absolutely blown away by the finish of this boat. No expenses spared. It is absolutely stunning. 
the ability to customize this boat almost infinitely means that you are buying a very very well-built bespoke and luxurious boat to me this was one of the most luxurious catamarans we saw so if chic french design and the ability to cruise the world in abject luxury is your idea of retirement or what you're going to do with a lottery win and you have those funds lying around take a look at the privilege 510 it really is an absolutely amazing craft 33.7 congratulations privilege Coming in at number six and just before the top five, the sexy French catamaran Outremer 51. Now this was one of my favorites and you scored it 34. We actually scored this a lot higher in our review. So what did you like? Well, the interior, it is light, it is airy, it is Scandinavian feel and it looks really well built. The forward facing nav station is a must for long ocean crossings, but overall we found this to be such a beautiful boat. I could really see myself zipping across oceans with or without kids and doing it at speed and in safety. This is a really beautiful boat. As you know, the 45 has been made famous by La Vagabond. The 51 is the bigger sister and there is now a 55 with the Versa helm coming out. Overall, we love this. You didn't love it as much as we did, but it is still a beautiful boat. I was also lucky enough to go and test sail an Outremer 51. I am blown away by the kindness of Outremer, but more blown away by the performance of this boat in light airs. We are looking at 8.6 knots of boat speed in under 10 knots of breeze. I was a very, very happy boy. Well done, Uchimer. The 51, 34 out of 50, fantastic boat. So we've seen catamarans 10 to 5. Before we go to the top five, which I know that you guys are really excited about and anxious to get to, let's take a quick look at the catamarans that didn't make it to the top 10. Remember, this is based on your votes. We did 19 reviews and one boat had to come in 19th. This is going to be the Trimaran Neil 47. Now a lot has been written on the internet about the Neil 47. Let me concentrate on some of the positives. She is light, she is airy, but more than that, she is fast. This boat has won awards for speed. She won the ARC 2019. So congratulations to Neil for winning that accolade. In 18th place is the XS12 by Beneteau. Now this boat is based on a Lagoon 40 hull with a Lagoon 40 deck mold. You felt that the interior and both exterior were not as well put together or luxurious as the Lagoon 40. You did not like the aft helm seats and you felt that the interior again was inferior to the Lagoon 40. Despite this being 30,000 more, if you want a Lagoon 40, go and buy yourself a Lagoon